the 2014 Formula One season sees the biggest rule changes in a generation. 2.4 litre V8 engines are out, 1.6 litre turbocharged engines are in. And with a new fuel limit of 100 kilograms per race, teams will need greater efficiency from their fuel. Shell has been fueling Scuderia Ferrari for more than 60 years. The new rules will see its fuel blend for the 2014 season tested to the extreme. It's Lucy Taylor's job to analyze the fuel and ensure it meets stringent standards set by Formula One's governing body, the FIA. Being a fuel analyst at a race is, is very, very important. We always have to get it right, we always have to be on the top of our game and ultimately give the best we can at every race. A mobile trackside laboratory gives the team the capability to run immediate sample checks and provide quick time results to Ferrari. Our lab is state of the art and we're quite special and unique within the paddock because we're actually the only oil provider that has this space. Normally a lot of the other oil providers will be working out of flight cases and it's to make sure that we can always do any problem solving that Ferrari come up with. Teams aren't allowed off the grid at any race until their fuel has been approved by the FIA. That is the reference fuel which we've supplied to the FIA. All the tiny little um, uh, peaks you can see are all the individual components because there's over 200 components within the fuel. Every time the fuel's moved, so from the drum and then into the cooling rig and then into the car, we're taking a sample each step along that process just to make sure it's okay and it is what we say it is. In the course of an average race weekend, Lucy will meticulously test more than 30 samples. If there is something wrong, it means that we are not legal, and so the first action is to try to understand where the problem comes. Any natural differences or accidental contamination could give Ferrari an unfair advantage and see the team immediately disqualified. One of these peaks had grown massively. That's when you know they've got some contamination or there's, there's something untoward there. So where it says engine number, yeah, engine. if you just put N ENG in there. Lucy's colleague, Drew Stinton, analyzes not fuel, but the oil that lubricates the engines. The thought of an engine blowing over the race in Canada is actually a pretty scary thought. Any error could have devastating results. In the past, there's been races where engines have gone and car parts have failed. Hopefully, we're here to stop this from happening. With only five engines allowed per driver for the whole season, the lubricants will have to be highly effective. After each session, Drew screens them for metal particles. The amount and type of metal he finds indicates which part of the engine is wearing and how quickly. Critical information for Ferrari's engineers. You can see the metal wear, you can see if there is something in the engine that starts to go wrong, and so at least you can see that there's a problem, you can decide what to do. If Scuderia Ferrari is to power to victory in 2014, Shell's trackside analysts will have to sustain their vigilance for the whole season and ensure the fuel and lubricants rise to the challenge.